hoping that children still have fun, you know, whether it be at arts and crafts or the game room or any of the other activities. Just to see them in chapel and just to see them with their eyes closed and their hands raised in worship and to know that they're doing that because they love God and to know that they probably learned what worship was here and just to see them cry because they know that they're safe here. Um, that just, it's just amazing and I just love watching them in chapel. I just love watching them worship. <laughs> Um, Friday Night Chapel is um, really cool. We sing the songs like we normally do, um, and then um, one of the staff members just grabs a microphone and they stand up front and they ask kids to volunteer to come up, say their name, how old they are, their favorite thing about Youth Haven, and one thing that they learned about Jesus that week. Yeah, about Youth Haven Ranch is when we come into chapel and sing lots of songs to God, and that he died on the cross to take away our sins and he's never going to turn his back on us. And um, it just gives them a chance just to show themselves off, but also um, glorify God. And um, so it's really sweet. They, it's so much fun just to hear what their favorite thing is about Youth Haven and just to hear what they've learned. And um, we call it the Victory Chapel sometimes just because um, some of the staff when it is such a tough week. Even when it's an easy week, we still get really tired and just to be like, okay, this is what happened. These are what these kids learned. This isn't, they don't make this up. They're saying like from their hearts what's, ha what's happening on this week and um, just realizing that all the bumps, the bruises, the mosquito bites are all worth it because these kids, these kids really learned something. Yeah. I learned about Jesus is and it's just a good reminder of just how much the Lord is is working in their life and just what they really are remembering and oftentimes they'll say you know that the thing that they learned out here was that Jesus died on the cross for their sins and that he'll never leave them and that's what we really want to send home with the kids that Jesus loves them enough to take away their sin if they would just ask and that um, he never will leave them, that he'll always be with them no matter where they go. It has just put like a whole new perspective on things. It is, um, it's forced me to trust in him more, um, depend on him to, to be my strength and be the, really be a protector out here of, of the kids. It's been really challenging um, in a lot of ways, uh, learning to trust him. But one of the hardest things is letting the kids go back at the end of the week. Um, it's it's learning, learning to trust him that he's gonna take care of them and continue to disciple them and guide them throughout their week um, and just learning to just have patience with these kids and having faith that he's going to carry me through. Well I would say you get to, um, you just get to see the work of the Holy Spirit firsthand in the lives of children. You get to really see it working in their hearts because you see changes especially with kids that come back. Well it's just changed a lot just because um, I've been able to see God reveal his glory through the kids I just see the nature here and um, it's just been really cool because um, I've never been able, like, well, I've had many opportunities just to tell the kids about Christ and um, to actually help them say the prayer of salvation and um, like that's just been able, like telling them about Christ and then realizing that what I tell them I need to live to has helped me, just challenged me just to grow spiritually too and walk with God. Mm -hmm.